I'm gonna make it go full blast. Hello everybody, in this video I will show you how to wire everything up. So everything you see here will be in the description link, uh, linked below. I have a 36 volt LiPo battery. Uh, this is a 4.4 amp hours. This key, this is from uh, hoverboards. I have a, um, one, this is a 1000 watt, 36 to 48 volt electronic speed controller. And this is the alternator that you saw in my previous video that has been converted into a mortar. I have a battery here powering uh, the stator of the motor through this orange wire. Go in there. And then the actual, uh, the three coils and the alternator are powered by this battery. So the way the wiring goes is, here's the wiring diagram, let me grab it. Uh, it's a little torn up, but there it is, you can pause the video. These three wires here are for the, um, the throttle control, which is a potentiometer. All it is is just a potentiometer. The green wire is a signal wire, the red wire is 5 volts, the black wire is, uh, is the ground or the negative. So, depending on where you turn this, that's how much power it sends to the signal wire. Increasing the speed of the motor. Now this plug here is a reversing switch. So right now the motor spins in a clockwise direction and when I uh, when I short when I short these two wires here it will spin in the opposite direction. And the one weird thing about reversing is when you put in the reverse speed it does not spin as fast. So see now it's going counterclockwise. And this is the max speed. It doesn't sound really fast. When I pull this out, now listen to the motor. You ready? I don't know if you I don't know if you can tell a difference, but it's way louder uh, when it's going in the normal speed, not reverse. So that's what this two the yellow and black wires are for. That's the reversing of the motor. Basically, the all other wires you don't need to worry about. Although, I think this one here, the blue and the black, is for the stop. When you short these, it stops the whole thing. I guess that's the brake. Uh, some of these are Hall Effect sensors. Some of these are alarm sensors uh, or alarm. Some of these are for the instrument cluster. I think it, maybe it's this one. And some of these are just positive and there's some learn wires. I'm not sure exactly what they do. But you can leave them all disconnected. And uh, this is how you would hook it up. And it works really good. And the next thing is I'm going to try to maybe put this... Well, I needed more batteries. I need maybe two more of these 36-volt hover hoverboard batteries. They're really light. They're like one kilogram almost. They're relatively cheap. And uh, I think they'll have enough power uh, for me to, you know, make this thing work. Two red and black wires. These go to the battery. There's another wire, this one here. Uh, this wire is the only one, these three, sorry, are the only ones that go to the 36 volts or 48 volts. All of these other wires, these are all 5 volt wires. So make sure you don't cross them or connect the positive together because it, it will not be good. Um, so this wire is the, it's called the switch plug. I have this little wiring diagram here. Um, the switch plug, okay. It is right here. It looks like that. So the K is connected to the positive. Let me separate these wires out. So I just have like a a jumper wire connecting this one and with the K together. Um, the potentiometer is connected to the the throttle line, which is F, which is that one here. Uh, it is the red, green, and black. The green is the signal wire. The red is the positive five volts. The ground. The black wire is the ground or the negative. Um, also, this pink, black, and gray is a speed selector. So pink and black is the high speed, black and gray is the low speed, and without them connected is the medium speed or the mid speed, whatever you want to call it. This is an alarm um, little cluster. This is the instrument plug. This one is a high level plug. Not sure exactly how that's all done, but you cannot leave all these wires blank. Now the yellow and 
I guess that's black. Yellow and black wire is the reversing plug. When you when you short these two together, when you put a little, you know, little wire on each one, it reverses the speed of the motor. But when you reverse the speed, um, the programming in, in this doesn't make it go as fast as you going forward. So I guess it's one little, I don't know if it's a safety feature or not, keeping, preventing you from, you know, putting in a reverse and, you know, slamming the throttle to the floor or something, or flooring it, whatever you want to call it. So that's how the wiring is done. You can leave all of these wires uh, alone, except for, of course, the A, B, and C coils, and then the positives, and then that one wire that needs to be positive 36 volts for it to work it's the switch plug I guess it can be you you can you can put a switch there and make it a connected to the ignition I hope this video helps somebody as far as the wiring and it does work really good um, I don't know how long this battery will last I've been playing with it for a little bit now it does have a lot of power so maybe Within hopefully soon, I will put this on the go kart. I do will need to buy a few more of these batteries just for extra extra power. All right, thank you so much. Uh, please watch my other video if you haven't seen it already. Thanks.